All right, and we are live. Hi, everybody. I am so grateful because I am here with one of my favorite business brothers, Mark A. Fister. Welcome. Thank you, Linda. Pleasure, as always. Ah, it's so great to see you. Um, and you're all dolled up, too. I like that. It's good. <laughs> I put on a jacket too. I'm trying to look professional here in in times of of uh, PJs, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I do I do have pants on today. I'm not wearing pajamas. I can assure you. <laughs> oh well, that's, hey, it's an upgrade. It is Thursday after all, and yeah. I'm so happy to have you here because I feel that both with this group and with a lot of my clients, we have reached a point where. A lot of us have gone through the the pain of this global trauma and we are really dealing with a lot of pain around us and a lot of worry and fear and stress relating to our businesses and our loved ones. And then I think my daughter and I marked up marked off number 35 or number 36 this morning with number of days that we've been at home. And um, a lot of people are getting ants in their pants. Mm -hmm. And I want to talk to you about this kind of shift that's happening within us. And I know you are such an expert at strategy. You know, I always turn to you for not only strategic advice, but also to think about things strategically. And so I wanted to give you and your tremendous insight as a gift to the group today, where we're, for those of us who feel that we are ready for a shift, we are ready for stepping into this leadership position that we really need to be in now, yeah? And um, let's talk about strategy. But as a strategy expert, do you find that people even know what strategy is? No, and I'll tell you, that that is one of the conundrums of our time. Let me first say hello, Linda, and thank you for having me and to your group as well. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here with you, everybody, today. Um, so the answer to your question is, is absolutely not. I, I can tell you even in my realm of the board director space, when I, I, I specifically ask that question of what is strategy, and I remain quiet as I hear the answers back to it, and it is extremely rare to get back the right definition or even be in the right ballpark for what exactly it means. Uh, and the other thing that's made this interesting and somewhat difficult is that the what I view as the definition of strategy has actually changed and morphed uh, over a period of time. We'll talk. I can talk a little bit about that in a moment. But just to stay first on the definition side, it used to be that a strategy was this careful plan or method, usually over a period of time, and then it was to what was defined as to simply achieve a specific goal. And notice I didn't put the word the letter S at the end of that. It was a goal. Yeah. Well, we all know today that uh, we, we, we would wish that it would only be one goal because it would make our lives a lot easier to be striving, whether it be personally, or professionally, or in, in the corporate realm for one goal. That's obviously not the case. And there's this this um, realm of, of um, things happening uh, all at the same time that add to this conundrum, I'll say, in, in the strategy space, this, this realm of simultaneity, we call it. And when you over when you place that over this realm of strategy, it can be quite uh, quite challenging. What I believe to be the newer definition of strategy, and I, I talk a lot about this in my writings and in my speaking, is that uh, strategy is truly a set of guiding principles that generates a pattern of integrated decision making. And what's interesting about looking at that is, or hearing that, is that we've moved away from these hard tangible things such as a written plan and a specific goal and we view it now as these guiding principles uh, and, and again as in this pattern of integrated decision making what that allows for is truly the diversity of thought coming in from multiple areas and multiple team members especially if we correlate this to a management team or a board or a project team for that matter that there is input and there is this integrated decision making that's taking place and all of us of course can be governed by looking at this this pattern of integrated decision making to simply ask yourself are the things we're discussing are the things that we're engaged with are they in support of the goals that we're looking to achieve um, 
And when it's looked at in this in this way, it's 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 quite easy to do your governance and your policing of uh, what's happening and what's planned to, to take place uh, by asking that simple question: Is it in support of the goals? So, just in summary to the definition, think about strategy in today's world as these guiding principles that sit above everything you're working on uh, that allow for this pattern of integrated decision making in support of your goals. And uh, I think it really leads to some of the right outcomes you're looking to achieve. That's so helpful because these guiding principles go back to so much of what we're talking about for inner business and in mindfulness intelligence. Um, and um, when you talk about strategy and when you work with strategy, obviously there's a corporate strategy with these guiding principles that you help companies and boards define and I know you're big on the how, you know, the, the how do you actually implement these things and how do you get there. Um, how do you relate that to our personal strategy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's a great question and I, I, I think there's a lot of correlation to that question to what we're seeing in today's today's environment, and I'll say both at a corporate or company level uh, as well as at a personal level. And let, let me answer that by first taking a quick step back to say that if we if we looked at strategy uh, pictorially or visually, we would we would see this as the goals sitting on one side and we'd see the tasks on another and picture those just the words in circles. And then in between those two, the goals and the tasks sitting in between is a double edged arrow with the word strategy in it. So on one side, you're setting your goals, which is the what. In some cases, I wrote my article yesterday that uh, it could be the what and the why for those in love with Simon Sinek talking about the why aspect of it, right? Sort of the same thing, why you're doing it and what are you doing. Uh, and then the tasks all the way on the other side are the when and possibly the who, who's going to complete these tasks. The strategy should solely, if, if you look for a parallel word here, when you hear the word strategy, you should think of the word how. How are we going to get this done? It's not tasks and it's not goals. It's what is the approach and the areas we're going to focus our effort, which is the strategy of the how we're going to support our goals. And then the tasks come, come next to support the strategy. And the strategy, of course, feeds into and supports the goals. So if we're able to look at it in this very simple viewpoint of goals, strategy, tasks, we see that. Just that simple mindset, it works in corporate America, in the corporate world, if, of course, it's, it's looked at in simple terms first and then expanded upon. But where we're lacking many times is in our personal lives to actually have a strategy, which, again, you can't have a strategy unless you're applying that to some sort of goal or some outcome you're looking for. For those that uh, don't like the word goal, it's just what are you looking to achieve? Where do you want to focus your efforts and your time? Um, and looking at it more as outcome-based type of, of solutioning. So... We see a lot right now that many leaders where even in these times of, of incredible change and incredible upheaval right now, how are they staying so calm? And in many cases, those folks and some of the ones that I work with and, and coach, you'll see very clearly that they have their set of corporate goals and strategies. And then they also have their own set of goals and strategy. Now, you may say, well, how can you have two different sets of goals and two different strategies? And I'll say that, well, of course, the closer those things align or the closer they come to intersection, um, the more those people are very much in tune and working in an environment, hopefully, that they truly enjoy. It's when those parameters are very far apart where the goals and the strategies between the corporate life and the personal life are very separate. That's when you start to see the frustration and the anxiety and the stress that comes out in people. So if we think about this in your personal life of setting your goals and your strategy or how you're going to achieve those goals. Um, and then if something big happens, like we're going through right now with this with this pandemic, it's quite easy to say, OK, I'm going to now evaluate which goals can I still keep within my sights and which strategies are still valid that I can use to support those goals. And you're likely going to find that. <clears throat> excuse me, some of them are going to be different. You may have to change some goals or change the time frame, right? You're always under this, this, um, these constraints of budget, scope, and time in, in, in both your personal life and your professional life. So it may be you keep your goals, but you're pushing the timeline out. It may be the delivery or the how you do things. It can't be as much in person at this moment right now, but the delivery may be more video based and how you, how you deliver uh, your strategy in support of your goals. So 
long story short in all of this is that I'm a, a, a deep believer that when the goals and the strategy around those goals are set and you understand what they are, it's extremely easy to pivot from them and understand what changes you're making. Many folks right now that you see are just um, – they don't have direction. They they have a, a, a significant amount of anxiety, and I get it. There's major things going on monetarily, personally, professionally, mentally, for that matter. Uh, but but how do you get a handle on those things? I actually think there's a direct link to strategy planning personally for people to get a handle on that because you know where you're coming from, and you know what you're pivoting from, and you know where you're going to. And it's a very comforting feeling to know those things. And I love how that really plays into having, really knowing who you are. You know, that we, we talk a lot about that in this group and in the mindfulness intelligence uh, teachings that I do, that if you have that, it's almost like that would be the foundation of any kind of strategic effort that you do, right? That you really know who you are. And of course, that's a that's a lifelong journey, but that's really part of the foundation as we move forward. And I love how this um, um, pivoting that you're talking about is so absolutely right on target for right now. We are very bogged down with the kind of stress and fear that this pandemic is. This is a global trauma and we are in the middle of it. Someone was saying yesterday on on Facebook, um, a friend of mine, um, someone asked how how are you and he answered i live in a dream wrapped in a nightmare <laughs> and you know so no matter where you are on that kind of scale there is something very doomy and gloomy around us and uh, some of us are actually dealing with a lot of grief absolutely but there's a still a pivot that needs to happen when it's time for that, you know, and this is what we're encouraging with these kinds of talks. And I know that you have much more of a deep dive coming up. You have an event on April 22nd. Yeah. Do you want to tell That's us right. a little bit about that? Right. Sure. So it's on this this concept of what I like to call crisis strategy. So um, and, and not to make it uh, overly dramatic, but strategy should always be this grounding point that sits across anything that happens around it. So you again have a starting point. And I go back to you don't know if you're making a change or if you should make a change unless you know what you're changing from. So when we talk about crisis strategy, it's it's how do we get to this grounding point first so we have an area to pivot from now. There are many that can actually think about what their strategy and their goals are, and they don't need to be in that realm of writing it down every year or thinking about what, how they're going to accomplish it. They know how they're going to do it. I personally, even after many years of doing it, I still like to write it down. Uh, if it's written down, I, 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 I can hold myself accountable, and that's my, my governance and policing component to it. But saying that, this webinar is, is – is it expands upon a little more so the idea of what we're talking about right now is how do you think about your life in a way that includes all these important components uh, and, and how do you think about this in a way that's manageable? And I truly believe that there is a way to get to this calmness, this in, in internal calmness when you understand what you're aiming to do. If you know there's a change, and by the way, there will always be changes, right, whether it's of this global scale we're talking about right now or if it's a more localized issue that comes up positive or negative for that matter, you're going to look and you're going to see if there's a, a pivot that needs to be done in, in, in your personal goals and your personal plan, which is your strategy. So this is a little more of a deep dive on how to get into that. And the reason for the title of crisis strategy, successfully pivoting your personal strategy in times of change is I believe this is both in good times, bad times, changing times, stable times. It's a different way of looking at uh, how you're overseeing and and uh, protecting your life on the path that you want to bring it on, not just things that happen to you. I absolutely love it. And this, of course, is going to be online. And was this at 1 p.m. our time, Eastern Standard? It'll be at 1, 1 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday, April 22nd. So it is free for those that want to join. And uh, I was again, just going to ask how much is it, but, but if it's free, that's absolutely um, – that's absolutely uh, great. And thank you, everybody, for joining. I see your comments here, and uh, people think this is very interesting and um, um, saying for us to stay safe. They know we're in the thick of things here in New York City. Um, so thank you, everybody. I, um, 
I love that it's not only free, but it's also at a time where most people in this group are in the United States, but we also have quite a few Europeans. And so if it's 1 p.m. here, it's going to be 7 p.m. in or 6 p.m. in most parts of uh, Europe. So that's really great. What I'll do is that I will post a link um, together with this video so that people can sign up and hear even more about how to really step into this um i was going to say put your big girl panties on but it's 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 really about change taking charge and i i i see the image of stepping into the driver's seat of your business of yourself and of your life so we're Absolutely. looking we're looking forward to that anything else uh where where can people find you because i know that you have the most amazing lectures and you help boards shape the freak up <laughs> <laughs> and you do amazing coaching uh you're so methodical and awesome and where where can people find you well thanks linda my, my website is fisterstrategy.com it is the funny german spelling of p-f-i-s-t-e-r strategy.com and uh again it is somewhat geared towards boards but i work with a lot of executives i work with a lot of management level um, I think that a lot of these concepts that's, uh, that I talk about uh, and, and, and coach on, they're universal to any level of, of uh, whether it be in your personal life or your professional life. So I, I find it quite important. But it's a balance of all these areas that, uh, that you want to focus on. Absolutely. And again, that's why these guiding principles become so. I love that concept and I love that way of looking at strategy. And um, I'm going to, with your funny spelling, I'm going to put that link in the, the comments as well so that people can find you. And um, uh, thank you so much, Mark, for, for being here and sharing your insights. I know you're giving a really good energy boost to people who uh, feel a little despondent these days, a little deflated, you know, and we, we need to encourage to have this kind of thinking. So I thank you so much for coming and uh, we look forward to joining you on April the 22nd. Great. Thank you so much, Linda. Thanks to your group as well and speak soon. Thank you. Bye, dear. Bye, Bye. everyone.